Hello there, Hamdom. This is Jay and I'm at the Array Solutions Lab and today we're going to talk about the new Array Solutions RAS1 Universal uh, Rotator Controller. We've got this controller hooked up to a PST61D which we substituted in a 500 ohm three turn pot to get a little more accuracy on the on the rotator as well as um, um, this, this rotator is being set up for a customer which lives in a very cold place that has long nights right now. So we're testing it on the bench to make sure everything is perfect. We have programmed the controller such that the controller has an overlap for the customer of plus and minus 15 degrees. Now, it, the controller can be programmed to have zero degrees overlap, or it can be pro programmed to have 70 degrees, up to 70 degrees uh, overlap, uh, depending on how you would like to use this controller. The controller is a attractive box. It has several controls on it on the front. There's a setup button. There's a go button. There's a preset button. Of course, you can manually move it clockwise or counterclockwise. And there's also a unique button here called speed, which can be used to control the ultimate speed of your rotator as it's turning your antenna. We'll show you how that works in a minute. The back of the controller is simply uh, an RS-232 port, a USB port, these ports, by the way, uh, speak the standard Yaesu controller language, so it's compatible with any logging program or DXing program that you may have. It also has, uh, this is how you customize to your rotator. It's a simple Molex type plug, which has the rotator uh, control cable plugged into it through pins, and that's how we customize it. This one's customized for a ProSystel uh, DC rotator. And this all comes pre-assembled for you. Um, to use the controller after you program it, you simply can use the point and shoot. Let's say we want to go to um, 85 degrees, hit go, and the rotator will turn you can see the clockwise position is rotating. The indicator shows clockwise movement. And there are large numbers here show you the position. It ramps down. And you can hear it ramp down as it approaches the target. And it stopped directly at 85 degrees. We're also measuring the potentiometer voltage coming from the pot inside the rotator just to see how things are operating and if they're operating correctly. <clears throat> Let's go back to zero and by the way the pot the, this preset unlike other rotators that, that have presets this one's calibrated and it's very good you can see at 180 we're showing 180 at 90 it shows 90 at zero, it shows zero. So it's a, a very good way to just kind of look at where you're going and point, point it and then let it go. Uh, go back to zero. You see now we're moving counterclockwise. And I can speed up the rotator by just pressing or moving that towards faster speed. You, you can hear it slowing down as it ramps down. The minimum and maximum speed can be uh, programmed. And well. we stopped at, um, at north. Also, you can control the minimum and maximum speed in the setup of the controller itself. All right, so we've got a rotator here that can go into over travel. It can go from zero to zero. Uh, we can set it to 180. And we'll go back and we'll start going to 180. This time we're going 180 counterclockwise. If I wanted to go clockwise, I could have typed, I put in 179.
Very easy to use controller. So I can slow it down, speed it up. Now we're ramping down towards 180. I'm going to the to the uh, counterclockwise soft limit. Oh, we, we can shows. take it all the way to the counterclockwise soft limit, and there we are. Left, Left limit. limit is displayed. And you can also run it with the uh, uh, buttons, and it will soft start and soft stop using these control buttons which is very important. Other controllers don't do that. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Jay at Array Solutions 73.